utilizing chipping uh, with, uh, with processing. And uh, particular lesson 44 teaches you how to use different sign functions to create crazy waveforms, wave wave uh, some of which you can see on your screen. So I was thinking, what if we go further and try to experiment with those waveforms to create something really, really interesting? Um, so here, here we are. And um, before actually I... Um, I I uh, I'll I'll explain you what I want uh, what exactly I want to uh, get. Uh, the regular sine wave uh, you is it looks approximately like this. Yeah, it goes f if if this is the uh, the coordinate uh, axis, then the uh, according to the uh, the sine is this coordinate, so it's z it starts at zero, and then it goes like this. And actually, it um, it has a coordinate of, uh, of y of one over here and minus one over here, and um, that's how it, uh, how it works. Okay, I, <coughs> I maybe I can. You add them up together, then you can get some really fancy shapes, which uh, Abbe showed on his channel. So it can be something. <coughs> so basically, if we take one waveform, let's call it waveform A, and then uh, we can we can draw it on the screen like this. And then if we take another waveform with a different frequency, let's let's imagine it looks like this: a waveform B. And then what happens if we ta if we add um, A and um, B? Actually, we're gonna take get the waveform, which is gonna be a, a sum of both of those waveforms. So it's gonna be a waveform. Uh, it's equal to waveform C, and um, we can th see that the waveform is gonna be approximately going like this. The big amplitude is gonna go like this, but every time it's gonna be going through this amplitude, it's gonna still have those. Uh, those things. So basically, you see, I'm kind of tracing this uh, wave around this one. It's approximate drawing. Don't take it too seriously. And uh, as um, Abe was actually explaining, then one of the interesting and, ma and magical properties is actually uh, when you no, it's a sum. Limit, but anyways, the one oh, it's possible that it's gonna be like this, so it's kind of interesting. Yeah, the waves, so you're gonna get a, this uh, interesting wave. But what I'm more interested in is different. So if we look again at the um, at the regular sine wave, which looks um, which looks something like this, you can see that this wave is actually going around the uh, x axis. But what if we take the x axis and instead of drawing it as a line, we draw it as a circle. As a circle. As a circle. Okay, third attempt. Yes. As a circle. And then we try to draw, draw the sine wave in the same wave, in the same way, but something like this. How fun would it be? And um, we know that from here to here. Uh, and uh, how can we draw it? So basically, if we look, um, if we look carefully, what happens over here is that uh, we can see that there is a line dropping either to the uh, to here or going up from here uh, from this coordinate. So technically. What happens? Uh, the sine wave is maybe represented not just as the as the curve, which is over here, but it can be represented as a set of lines. And this is the this assumption uh, Abi was showing when he was showing then the the paper uh, 
the, uh, the, 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 the sea, sorry, the sea, how the waves of the sea are actually waving. So, this is the same sine wave, except that uh, if on this one we were uh, just draw, uh, uh, it's kind of tedious to do this. If on this one we were drawing the points over here, it was the collection of points because what this what this this curve is is literally just a very 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 densely put points, which can be uh, which we can make sparse as well. And um, Okay, it's kind of clear. Whereas over here, we, are, we avoid putting dots on top, we just instead we draw lines. And uh, as you can see, the length of the, the height of the line is our familiar, the y coordinate and the value. So the longest one here on the bottom is uh, minus 1, and the tallest over here is uh, plus 1. And the coordinate, obviously, all the points start with this coordinate over here, so this red dot, so it all starts from the red dot and then goes over there. But what if we actually, what what if we look at this uh, at this one? Uh, if we look carefully at, uh, at this um, drawing, um, we can actually see what happens here. There is this, there is the center, central point, and then Actually, there is this. Uh, we can say that if imagine this is okay. This is the radius, the radi radius point, and it's here in the center, in the center of the circle. And if we actually take and make him like a virtual line over here, and then we draw here. Um, okay, so I'll try to put this one over here so we can trace it. So this is how the sine wave goes if it is drawn if it is drawn on the circle. So what we can see here is that the line goes like this. We start with the longest lines, yeah? We start with the longest lines and then we adjust shorter ones. The the biggest difference over here is that actually if here all the lines are vertical and, per and parallel to each other, they all lie on parallel lines. Here we can even assume that these waves are lying on those on kind of like a stripy strings no. uh, on a stripy uh, on a on a, on a line of of those strings, I'll just try to make them maybe a light green. So yeah, and um, so we can assume that there are lines of So we can assume that there are lines. These are the pixels, like of your screen. Yeah, can be the pixels of your screen, and they are here. And then on that vertical line, you we take them, we take those, and there are like red points over here. And then we can take this one, and we can draw, as I said those uh, on those lines okay I was too lazy but anyways you, you get the point so that's gonna happen here here we can actually imagine that those bright green lines they are coming from the radius like this a lot of them, and then the sine function is uh, drawn on on some part of that of that ra of that uh, radius. 
So basically there's a lot of radiuses over here and what we do, we just take the, we just go from the center and we draw the same length of the line but uh, what, as what Sinus suggests us but on, uh, on a radius. Surprisingly, when you program a program, it, it's so easy, and when you tr when I try to explain it, it seems to be so so hard. Um, and we'll try to see how it is. But anyways, um, thank you.